Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the DIY guy. I was about to put a stud wall up in my workshop so that I could make a new studio for the channel. And I thought to myself, do you know what? So many people don't know how to properly attach a piece of timber to a brick wall or concrete or block or anything like that. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna make a really simple video so that you can go away and do it yourself with confidence, first time, every time. Before we make a start, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit the little subscribe button down below. You're not going to want to miss out on any of the great DIY content that I've got to come throughout the rest of 2022. And if you do enjoy the video today, please give it a thumbs up for me. The more likes the video gets, the more YouTube will share it around and it'll reach and help more people on YouTube. So what I want to do is fix this stud into place on this brick wall. Now this will work on concrete, brick, block, anything like that and it'll work not only on CLS studs, but on fence posts, gates, and things like that. So not only small pieces of wood like this, but for the larger pieces as well. So grab the piece of wood that you want to fix. Now this is a 2.4 piece of wood, and I want to put four fixings into the brickwork. So we'll mark out where we want our four fixings. We'll have one at each end, then we'll equally space out the middle two. With your end holes, don't go too close to the edge because you don't want to risk splitting the wood. Our aim is to use these 70 mil coach bolts on this piece of 36 mil CLS. We want to bury that head of that coach bolt into our piece of timber enough so that the shaft sits within the piece of wood and the rest of our coach bolt can travel through into the brickwork. Of course, if you're using thicker pieces of wood, adjust the coach bolt length that you're using accordingly. Now let me show you the simple technique to getting these coach bolts to sit within this piece of timber. This method will give us the most solid fixing. You can use a wall plug and screw, but it won't give you such a sturdy and solid fixing, especially if you're doing this on something like railway sleepers or fence posts or gate posts or something like that. You're gonna want a much stronger fixing. This is the answer. First of all, measure the head of the coach bolt, which is six millimeters in depth. So we need to bury the head of that bolt into the timber by six millimeters. How are we gonna do that? I'd recommend that you use a 25 millimeter flat bit first. Put that on the mark that you've made and make roughly a six millimeter deep recess in the timber. Best to take a little bit out at a time rather than too much because we want enough thickness to remain in this piece of wood to allow the coach bolt to pull the wood tightly to the brickwork or concrete surface without splitting through the other side. Give the recess that you've made one final check so that you can see that the head will be recessed properly in the timber. You can then use the hole made in the center of the recess to guide a 10 millimeter drill bit through that piece of wood. And make sure that you get the hole perfectly straight through the piece of wood. Your coach bolt should now pass through that piece of wood and sit within that recess perfectly flush, as you can see there. Repeat that step for all of the fixing points along the piece of timber that you're using. So once our piece of timber's prepared, when I place that against our brickwork or concrete, we'll level it up, put it in its final position, and we'll then mark onto the piece of timber or concrete where these fixing points need to be. We'll then bring that away from the wall and drill the holes. And there's some very simple techniques to this that make the job a lot easier. So first of all, place your piece of timber where it needs to go. You should then grab a level to make sure you've got that piece of wood in the perfect position. Once you're happy with the level and you've got the piece of wood where you want to fix it, I'd recommend a tracer pencil. The reason for this is they have a nice thin end and you can extend the lead out so that we can make a mark all the way through that hole so that we know where we need to drill. They're really handy for this type of job, they're really cheap, and they last for months and months. I've had this one for ages. If you wanna grab one, there's a link below in the description where you can grab yourself one. Repeat this process for all of the other fixing points along that piece of timber. Move that piece of timber 
to the side so that we can work on the wall that we're fixing onto. The good thing about using the coach bolts and the appropriate plugs is that it doesn't actually matter whether you drill into the brick or whether you end up hitting the mortar joints in between the brick. The coach bolt will spread that plug out enough to bite into any surface. Whereas with the brick fixings, you need to make sure you actually hit brick or concrete. If you hit mortar between a brick, it'll just pull away and it won't bite into the brickwork properly. So unless I'm fitting a door or a window or something like that, I always prefer to use a bolt and a plug. So you'll need to use an SDS drill for this next bit. Use the diameter that's appropriate for the plug that you're using. In this case they are 12 millimeter plugs. So in this case we're using a 12 millimeter SDS bit and an SDS drill. The key thing here is that we make sure we don't over penetrate. There's a simple technique to use so that you don't over penetrate and drill all the way through the brick. First of all, grab the plug that you're using and place it at the end of the drill bit. Put your finger where the plug stops and we will then use a piece of tape to indicate where that plug finishes. Put a couple of winds of tape on there. Insulation tape is great for this job. By doing this, we now know the perfect depth for the plug and we won't over penetrate and go all the way through the brick. We'll now drill on that mark that we made and we need to make sure that we keep the SDS drill perfectly level and perfectly straight because if we don't the holes that we made in the timber won't match up with those wall plugs and we need to be able to pass the bolt through and turn it nice and easily into the brick. If the drill is at an angle that's going to make that extremely difficult so make sure you've got the drill perfectly level. and make sure you stop once you get to the piece of tape. Then grab the plug that you're using, place that into that hole that we've made, grab a hammer and tap it all the way into the hole. Repeat that process for all of the fixing points along the piece of timber. So once you've got a plug in all of the fixing points that you've made, bring your timber back and put that back in place where you had it before. And what you should notice is that all of the holes in the timber match up with the holes that you've made in the brickwork. Next step, grab a coach bolt and we'll place that into our first hole. Turn it by hand and you should feel that it starts to bite into the wall plug the other side. Next up, grab the appropriate size socket and start to do up that bolt. As you're tightening up the bolt, just check the level with a spirit level and you can make minor adjustments before you tighten the bolt fully. And you can see that that is incredibly tight. That is going nowhere. Repeat that process for all the other fixing points along your piece of timber. So once you've repeated that process for all of the fixings along your piece of timber, you should be left with something looking like this. The head of the bolt is recessed in the piece of wood but it has around three quarters of the thickness of that piece of wood to create a really solid fixing to this brickwork. The same applies to concrete. It works really well on concrete as well and you get a really good solid fixing that won't go anywhere. That's it guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope it's helped. If it has, please leave a like because that helps the video to reach and help more people on YouTube. And if you're not a subscriber already, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here as a supporter of the channel and there's so much more to come in 2022 and beyond and you're not gonna wanna miss it. And don't forget, you can grab a tracer pencil really cheap in the description, there's a link below. Hope it's helped, I'm gonna crack on with my stud wall now and I'll see you guys in the next one.